Hey guys, how you guys doing out here today? Ah, it's pretty chilly. I'm pretty chilly. I got the old Supreme shirt on. Um, don't have a jacket with me, so we're out here and we're gonna run the old Axial Wraith. This is the first run she's had since she took a drink in the ocean. Uh, I've had some tests here and there, but every time I take it outside, you know, I'm like finding out parts are not working, things are not working right. This is all right, guys. So here we are. Go ahead and do a little slow motion stuff here. We'll come back around to this little hill. You normally take this a lot faster, but you see, uh, this thing's a little slower now that's all geared down. But it makes for a pretty, a pretty good crawler. I understand. Ooh, that's got the slip. I think they call this screw, don't they? Uh, can't really get a run and start guy like I used to. Crunch. Yeah, so I'm actually on speed. I'm going to have to find another way around. Okay, let's see. I'm kind of new for crawling. There we are. We made it. We made the hill. Ooh. The weight really helps. I got those uh, brass bronze weights on the backs of the wheels really adds to the stability and I like the widening kit. The start off life is a ready to run axial wraith and of course it's definitely starting to change. I got the drag brakes kicked in pretty good which probably would help more normally but this is going pretty slow so not really if it's necessary or not. And this, the ground here is very very Treacherous, I guess is the word, it's sort of loose. So as a result, uh, tires are just not really doing that great here. But I think it's okay though. That's wide open, guys. I'm being a little bit careful about going deep in water after that incident down on the beach. So I might do a little bit of rock stuff here, but I'm going to kind of watch out for that. Any kind of deep water. Because I can now prove that these things are definitely not waterproof. I mean, we end up with a new servo, a new ESC, new bearings. Some axle replacement, all kinds of cool stuff, guys. I guess we should look for another area to go crawling, guys. I don't know how it looks on the other side of the scale. They were kind of descent. This is pretty steep through here.
has the, this is actually about the only little kill here that's like this, but more than interesting is, I, she was a, she just is a flipping over like she used to. I guess the uh, width of the wheels do help considerably. Yeah, I mean, seriously, before she would have rolled over on the skill, there's, there's no way that she would have stayed upright through all this. What he did, guys, these tires are pretty grippy for what they are. They're pretty heavy. Ground clearance is good. Suspension is working good. Because I'm used to, you know, getting air over little hills like this. So it's a little different already. But, uh... Oop. They finally did it. There's a titanium uh, vanquish up front. I haven't done the links yet, as you can tell. I'm still running the plastic. I probably will put the vanquish ones in eventually, I think. I'm not sure. I really don't mind the plastic. I haven't broken any yet. Uh, all the parts that are, other than they're not factory parts, usually indicate some that broke. Yeah, way way more stable, guys. Way more, way more stable. And decent ground clearance. We look at that. Nice up close. Good suspension movement. Those are steel drive lines in there. Yeah, nice, nice, good even movement. I really like the new servo, it's a lot more powerful. Um, I did kill the, the factory one when we were out, out there in the ocean. Um, before that, I started getting kind of weird. I was trying to break the wheel loose, get some rocks, and the servo had to burn up inside. So, might as well also kill the servo on the TRX4, so I'm gonna have to replace that one too. Get the crawlers going. You know, guys, I don't know. I mean, I like the territory, I really like the race. I don't have any RCs I don't like. But, uh, I don't know. I almost wouldn't mind to build up another one of these. I call this one the Sweet L. There's a reason for it. I bought it as ready to run, and, uh, oh, not be stuck, guys. Let's see. Well, and there it is, guys. Oh, I've got a nice shot the underneath here. Yeah, the plastic uh, drive lines gave out. Where are we at? So I put these integy, integy ones. Energy, energy. Or, oh God, maybe there's something else. No, it's something else. You know, this is just all steel, front and back. Drive lines are cold. Transmission's a little bit warm. Motor's, motor's a little bit warm. Good chance to give a little break, I guess. Got the change over the metal on these front and back. These are the new, uh, New bead launch and it's got the brass counterweights in the back. Helps make everything, brings it all together. So, anyways, guys, there we are one more time. Um, 
If you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscription, drop me a comment, okay? Till next time, ciao. So anyways, guys, we did not burn the motor up. The drag brake is pretty heavy duty on that thing. I'm gonna do some more adjustments, but please leave me a like and comment. Let me know, uh, I don't know, let me know what you think. Anyways, she's, she's alive again, man, after being in the ocean. So till next time, ciao.